There is one thing that is absolutely for certain, and that is I genuinely dislike posting videos of this nature. I have spent a huge amount of time on my channel, personal time, trying to help you, the viewers, if you are familiar with the channel, how to get a better signal, better range, stronger connection with DJI drones. I have extensively tested the DJI Mavic Mini. I have extensively tested every single range extender. I have done in-depth reviews on how to select manual channels and what different frequencies do. I have explained fully what OcuSync does and how it actually makes a huge amount of difference on these drones. I have even done a tutorial on how to roll back the uh, firmware on the DJI Mini 2 due to the fact that myself and many of you was struggling for connection with the latest firmware version. So please do not, you, know, you can if you wish, question my credentials when it comes to posting this sort of video and talking about the poor connection I am still getting from this DJI Air 2S. So in this video, I'm going to show you some examples, explain the timeline, and just basically show you how this is absolutely not acceptable and why I do not think it is related to the latest app version. So let's get into it. When DJI launched their Air 2S, which is the drone right in front of me, we was promised our best connection yet. We were told that this thing had four antennas and it had Ocusync 3.0, DJI's latest uh, connection system. We was also told that we was going to receive a much smoother connection and much smoother uh, image on our devices due to the fact that we had lower latency times as well. And overall, we were going to get so much of a better experience. Now, pretty much straight out the box, when I was doing my initial testing on this drone, I wasn't really seeing um, this better connection. What I was seeing is quite a lot of video breakup, um, which obviously wasn't brilliant, but to be perfectly honest with you, I have learned to live with it. However, the past few times, or the past tw two times I have uh, flown this drone, I can honestly tell you has been absolutely horrendous. So let me explain. As you can see on screen, basically when I was trying to get it to uh, track me or do some sort of active track, basically my screen became completely unresponsive and there was absolutely nothing I could do. I had to basically close down the app and restart it. Now, bear with me because I know what you're thinking. It's down to the app, but just hang fire because it's not quite the case. Now, recently I did a video on the UK drone rolls, which of course, depending on where you're watching, they may be relevant to you or not. However, I was flying this drone in a place which is for, for the view of the general public, not really allowed. It most certainly is, but not many people are aware that you can actually fly there. So, you know, it was quite densely populated. So the last thing I needed at that stage was a poor connection. But as you can see on screen, this is my video feedback and it is absolutely laggy as hell. Now, one thing to obviously mention is, obviously I do know what I'm doing. And you can see using the compass in the bottom corner, I was facing the drone at all times. But most certainly, here's the thing guys, even if I wasn't facing the drone at these sort of distances, I shouldn't be getting this sort of connection problem whatsoever. You can see on screen, I did you know, quickly open up the transmission tab and there is no interference in this sort of area, none at all. It's, it's interference free. You know, I'm over a, a beach, I'm only a couple of hundred meters away, there should be nothing to affect it. Then we get to an interesting thing over water, and again, yes, it's over water, I've got absolutely perfect line of sight, I'm looking at the drone, I'm taking some snaps, I'm trying to uh, film, and I'm wanting to film this guy on the jet ski. Basically, out of absolutely nowhere, I get the return to home. Um, signal strength is okay, I'm facing the drone, absolutely should be no problems. The drone decides it wants to return home. I then cancel that off and then with that, it just completely crashes, okay? Um, and again, this is quite significant because I do not believe this is anything to do with the DJI Fly app. 
and I'll very quickly explain why on this occasion I don't think it's the app. And the reason for this is because I, even though I had line of sight of the drone, I was not confident that it was actually um, responding to my controls. So what I actually did is I, for the probably for the first time ever, I hit the return to home button because I felt that was the, the most efficient way of getting the drone back to me. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have absolutely no video feed at all. It's just frozen. Now, I do not touch my phone. I do not close the app. I do not do absolutely anything. And then a few seconds later, as you can see, the feed actually does return pretty much when it's near enough overhead, okay? Now, like I say, I'm facing the drone pretty much at all times, other than the fact that, you know, I did gently sort of put it down as I'm watching the drone come back during sort of return to home. Um, so yeah, you know, that was a really, really strange one, guys. So really, really not impressed with this whatsoever. Now, then I also had another occasion where I was out filming, um, and for some bizarre reason, the drone decided to just throw up a message to say it was landing. Now, at this moment in time, I'm actually over water, um, which wouldn't have been good. I mean, again, I'm looking at the drone. I can see it. It's right in front of me. But yeah, absolutely incredible scenes. I, I could literally just see the drone starting to just lower, with which obviously I had to quickly cancel it. And again, that was a little bit unexplained. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm really, really struggling to have confidence with this piece of kit. Not to mention, even though we have a few apps on and I have done a video on this previously, I still have the problem with the um, with the height showing incorrectly. But anyway, I just wanted to put this video out just to make you guys aware of all this. And the reason why I think it's important is because, yes, I'm sure many of you guys are going to come back at me in the comment section and tell me, you need to try this, you need to try that. Obviously, you know, if you are familiar with the channel, you know my credentials. I, I do know what I'm doing uh, and I, I am going to sort of explore options with which I'm going to uh, try and get this to, to perform better. But actually, this incident, I viewed that serious, believe it or not. Uh, maybe I'm being dramatic. You can make your own mind up on that one. I'm actually going to contact DJI on this one um, and just log it with them because I personally feel that this footage was absolutely horrendous especially for the distance that I was flying. So that wraps up the video. You know, if you have got a DJI Air 2S and you are not getting the uh, connection or the performance that you was expecting or advertised, again, please do leave a comment in the section below. Like I say, I genuinely do not enjoy doing these videos, but it's well worth pointing out. Many of you are gonna say you can roll back the firmware, you can download the app version. However, I'm lucky enough to be able to be technologically minded to, to be able to do that, all right? But the point is, and this is what I would stick by, the average consumer, okay, um, you know, should be able to fly this drone on the latest app version, on the latest firmware, firmware version, and receive the best possible connection at all times. I personally do not know what is going on with DJI at the moment, just like the Mini 2, where so many people reported poor connection after the firmware. You know, this shouldn't be happening, okay? You should always be improved. For some reason, DJI seems to change one thing and then fix something else. Not entirely sure what's going on, but this is my findings. Thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. It really does help the channel out and helps more people like you that might be watching this see this video and uh, hopefully they can uh, you know relate to what i found so see you again soon